So last week we got the dub against the Saints, but I felt like the team needed improvement. So I traded for Kelvin Benjamin and Golden Tate. Our receivers are now completely elite. We are on top of our division at 5-2. and two, And in week 9, we're going against the 5-3 and three Bills, which will be a challenge. Let's do it. Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to some more franchise mode and as you guys saw yes We traded for Golden Tate and Kelvin Benjamin guys They should add so much depth and just greatness to our team as Golden Tate making the catch right there in traffic Let's get it down to the 45, but guys I felt like What we needed I know it, I was happy with our receivers, but I was like, you know what? We don't need some of the players that we have so I ended up trading our backup right guard which I accidentally drafted in the first place and I gave up one of our picks, and I think we still have our first round pick, so we actually still have a really good team with a future, even though I don't really need anybody um, specifically in the draft, so I was going to trade that away anyway, but we got some great receivers right here. We got Doug Baldwin, Golden Tate, and Kelvin Benjamin. Kelvin Benjamin making his first catch right there. Kelvin didn't cost me that much. I think I traded John Brown for him. I traded John Brown and I think a second round pick. I don't know. I think it's. I think it was that. But we had enough speed receivers. I was like, you know what? Let's get a big receiver like Gronk. Oh, let's go breaking tackles. And that's a face mask on the end of the play. But our team is looking great right now. I'm still thinking about trading Gronk. But at the same time, our team is so dope. I was trying to trade for Teddy Bridgewater, guys. I wanted to bring in an actual QB. But then I was like, you know what? TP's doing good. And then, you know, if somebody has a complaint, then yeah, we'll probably change. But I tried to get Teddy Bridgewater. We weren't able to. I was going to try to go after Derek Carr because I didn't really like, uh, what's his name? Fucking Jared Goff, who we actually ended up trading. That's who we traded for. We traded um, John Brown and Jared Goff. That's who we traded. We traded John Brown and Jared Goff to the whatever team Kelvin Benjamin was on uh, for Kelvin Benjamin. So that's who we traded. And uh, Jared Goff was not even going to see the field anyway as J.J. Nelson comes in and gets a touchdown. Let's go. J.J. Nelson is now our fourth receiver, but he's still going to be a vital part of our offense. And he gets in right there for a touchdown. Now, I forgot to put Latavius Murray back in as our starter. And I was going to try to trade him away too because we don't use him at all. And we got Deion Lewis and Dry Archer, which all we need really is speed as we get the nice juke right there. Dry Archer with that speed getting down the sideline, down to the 42. Good run right there. Terrell Pryor, 6 for 6. I really like Terrell Pryor, guys. I mean, I like that, you know, I brought him back into the game and I made him, you know, probably what he would be at QB. And, uh, of course, with a couple of subtle improvements, his speed probably wouldn't have been as good, but I was like, you know, it's Terrell Pryor. But, um, yeah, I mean, I was thinking about bringing in Teddy Bridgewater or Derek Carr or somebody else. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll kind of just see as time goes on if I'm able to trade for somebody. But I don't want to trade anything, like, huge. Um... Like, Gronk would be a huge, you know, right there we fucking hit him for a first down. And he's a big, vital part of our offense. But it's like, you know, my the scheme that I run, I mean, I stay in the same formation pretty much the entire game. Rarely do I ever go out of it. And this formation doesn't really need a fantastic tight end to be great. So, you know what, fuck it. G Tate. Ah, I dropped it. Damn it, I thought that was going to be a catch. But Golden Tate, I've used him in Mutt. I love using Golden Tate. Kelvin Benjamin, he always has fantastic stats, and he does in this career mode. And, you know, he should be beastly. We still got Dorio Green Beckham. I'm actually looking to trade, to be honest with you guys, because we don't really need him that much. Young receiver. Oh, shit. Throw that over. Let's go. Terrence Williams, too. Uh, I mean, we got a bunch of great receivers. I mean, they all come in and do work, so, I mean, maybe I should just keep all of them. I don't know, but they're all young. I think Ter Terrence Williams is relatively young, and Dorio Green Beckham is definitely young. So... It's kind of just a judgment call at this point on um, who to trade and shit like that. Trying to get the ball off. I had fucking Terrence Williams for a touchdown if I was able to fucking sit in the pocket and get that pass. But nah, that's all right. Uh, right here, let's run a weak flood and see if we can get this drag over the middle. Now, the reason I don't edit these guys is because, first of all, I talk pretty much the entire time anyway. And plus, I don't have to wait for anybody else to pick a play. So I'm like the only one picking plays. As Jared Cook making a nice catch right there and he gets fucking lit up. 50 seconds left. Let's see if we can get in the end zone one more time. Let's go wide cross. And I'm actually out of the formation. I said I was in the formation like 90% of the time. Uh, it's kind of ironic that I just went out of it and I've called like four plays out of that formation. There's Jared Cook right there. Get in for the touchdown. Let's go. Jared Cook in for the touchdown. TP with the second passing touchdown of the game. Does he did He just Tebow? Did TP just Tebow? Yo. That'd be a confusing title. What the fuck? 
Dude, I think Terrell Pryor just did the Tebow after he fucking scored. What the fuck? That's awesome. That was that, that's pretty funny. Oh shit. That was huge pressure right there. We actually have 15 seconds left in this half. I didn't even realize it. Let's try to go deep right here. 12 for 14, 160. Fucking killing it with CP, as always. I mean, his accuracy, you know, it's not great. It's like low to mid-70s. But um, I'm doing work with him right now as we have somebody deep. No, we fumbled. No, 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 no. Get that ball. Why didn't he let me run? Dude, Try Archer had so much room ahead of him. Oh, my God. Let's get one more play in before half. Fuck it. Why not? So, we're going to cancel the play action this time as we have Dion Lewis in, who I actually really like. Dion Lewis is actually pretty good. But are they sending a blitz? No, they're not. I think we have Doug Baldwin beat deep. Oh, let's go. Come on. No, Terrell Pryor overthrows him. Damn it. So, I didn't even realize it, but the Buffalo Bills scored before the half ended. That's why we got the ball back. And also, guys, I signed a third QB since I did get rid of um, Jared Goff. We ended up signing BJ Daniels, who was a legend on um a lot of youtubers teams i don't know why he is i mean i always liked him he was on the seahawks for a long time and now he's not unfortunately he was actually pretty cool i liked um seeing him play i think that's an offsides let's chuck that ah damn it is that an offsides or is that on us false start or something like that come on no it's offsides i should just chuck that up i think i may have had kelvin benjamin deep but um you know what let's bring in BJ Daniels for this play because he's fun to use man I think he's like 5'10 or something he's number seven he should be not like number five or something like that he looks really funny on the field for whatever reason I don't know why but he misses that throw damn it fucking BJ Daniels I'm talking about how good you are on your fucking missing throws like that let's bring in Dak actually you know we got Terrell Pryor and stuff like that we haven't been able to really use Dak Prescott that much I mean he's good trade bait because he is like you know he's really young but um, I don't know if I really want to trade him. I mean, Dak Prescott's kind of a legend right now in the NFL. Because we're going to take off with him for a huge gain. Oh, I tripped. Fucking A. I tried to stay up and truck that dude. Because I think they actually gave Dak good trucking or good strength and shit. I think I remember seeing it on his 88 overall. His new Team of the Week card. Who absolutely looks amazing. Like, I want to pick that card up. But he's so expensive. I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to see that in Mutt. Pretty much have nothing down the field. Actually, we do have... JJ Nelson, damn it! It's real fire missing the throw. He's missed like three or two or three throws in a row now, which kind of sucks. Um, okay. So we got JJ Nelson going across the field. We got GT going deep. Terrence Williams over the middle. There we go. JJ Nelson with that speed. Good catch. Fucking A. TP is missing throws right now. I mean, that should have been right on him and for a lot more yards than that. But uh, we'll take it, I guess. I don't know why I'm running. Hurry up. I think G-Tate's tired. No, he's not, actually. Gronk is tired. Holy shit. Every time I say Gronk is tired, I go to him. Last game I said that, and he fucking fumbled after he caught the very next pass. So that was it's kind of bad luck for me to say that, but oh well. Okay, so this play, I want to I'm gonna hit somebody deep, man, for real. Like, I haven't really tried to hit Kelvin Benjamin deep. Because we're trying to get the ball off right there. And what? J.J. Nelson, what the fuck? How... He didn't even look for the ball. God damn it. That was mid blitz, too. I probably could have chucked that up and got it. Damn it. All right. Doug Baldwin's tired. JJ Nelson, I'm pretty sure, is tired. Everybody's tired, and we're getting sacked. So the end of the third quarter, we're going to punt, I think, because I think we just got knocked out of field goal range. Yep, we did. All right. So we're going to punt. That sucked. All right, guys. So they didn't end up scoring him. I think we actually got an interception. So we're up 14-7. We're going to go into clocking mode as we always do. Going to try to run away from him. Oh, boy. That was a dumbass run by me. Jesus Christ. I tried to bring in Latavius Murray. They're calling timeouts. So, I don't know. I guess we'll just keep on running the ball. Even though that's kind of boring. No, that's boring. Fuck it. We got Doug Baldwin. We got Kelvin Benjamin. Oh, boy. Here we go. Shit. There we go. Doug Baldwin. No, he misses the throw. TP. What the fuck is going on? Now you're making me want to trade for a new quarterback. What the fuck? You're missing throws left and right. It's ridiculous. It's really fucking annoying. So we're going to pass again. We didn't even make him use our last time out on that play. There we go. Doug Baldwin. TP, what the fuck? You're missing throws. This is ridiculous. What the fuck? He just got back on the field. He's not tired. Oh, boy. I don't even know if this is going to go in. No, not even close. Wow. We completely missed that field goal. Why did we even kick that? 
fucking all Madden difficulty. It's impossible. A minute, 11 seconds left. The Buffalo Bills have a chance to actually come back. But they don't, so we're going to try to pass the ball. I shouldn't. I, re I really shouldn't, especially with TP. Missing throws left and right now. Fuck it. Oh, there we go. We have him deep. Please make that throw. Let's go. Doug Ball went in for the touchdown. That's going to seal the game. We're going to win again. Throw up with the dot. Finally. Jesus Christ. We're going to go up 21-7. to That's going to seal it. All right, guys. So we're going to get one more playoff before this game ends, and I'm just going to chuck it up. Fuck it. Why not? Shit. Chuck it up. Let's go. Doug Ball went in the end zone, and he catches it for the touchdown. Why not pad the stats? Pad the stats, pad the lead, fucking run the score up, I don't care. We end up scoring 28-14 to 14 is going to be the final. Guys, hope you enjoy this episode. This is week 9, I think. We're getting deep into the season. Getting into playoff territory, but that's going to bring us to 6-2 and two on the season. Team doing really, really good. Um, I like their new additions, even though Doug Baldwin was the one that stepped up and did really well. But, uh, you know, TP was missing throws late in the game, but he actually ended up doing pretty good. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, be sure to look out for the next one, and I'm out.